Developing this morning, police searching for a driver who hit and killed a cyclist in Queens last night. Authorities say the driver was running from the police when the cyclist was hit. Let's get right to Good Day's Briella Tomasetti. She joins us from Astoria this morning where that hit and run happened. And Briella, witnesses are saying the impact of that collision was so loud it sounded like a boom. That's exactly what neighbors were saying. They were woken up from their sleep, some of them, because this happened again at 11 o'clock last night. But right now, I can tell you this all started about a mile away from here when police flagged a pickup truck that was wanted for a burglary. The driver of that truck and two passengers tried to get away but hit that cyclist in the process. Now, the bike actually ended up right underneath this red car. It's parked on the corner here in Astoria. Uh, the bike obviously obviously since then has been removed from the scene. Police are investigating a hit and run in Astoria that left a female cyclist dead. According to investigators, it all started last night just after 11 o'clock on Crescent Street when cops observed a black Dodge Ram wanted for a burglary. They tried to conduct a vehicle stop, but the driver of the pickup took off, hitting the cyclist at the intersection of 37th Street and 34th Avenue. She was rushed to Elmhurst Hospital and later pronounced dead. Police say the pickup was occupied by three men wearing masks. They all left the scene and eventually ditched the truck. It was found abandoned on Newtown Road and 46th Street with visible damage. A witness said in Spanish the impact of the crash was so loud it sounded like an explosion. When she ran outside to see what happened, she saw the mangled bike on the ground and a pair of shoes. She explains after a couple of minutes, the ambulance arrived. Good Samaritans and police stayed to comfort the victim. The NYPD, though, has yet to make any arrests. And police are investigating whether that pickup truck had fake plates or real ones that were covered up. Of course, that investigation ongoing, it certainly makes the process, though, more difficult. For now, we're live here in Astoria. Dennis Shani, back to you. Thank you very much, Briella.